so dear friends, I'm happy to speak about the 2020 vintage. One more good vintage, we'll discuss it. And we are so sorry that you cannot join us for the second year in a row. And you will miss uh, what has been, in my long experience, the best trio of vintages, 18, 19, 20. Uh, the winter was, was quite wet, um, but then, um, as it usually happens in the southwest, um, we, we had a beautiful window, which was actually quite long, um, from the, the end of, of February until the, the first week of, of April. Um, and that, uh, that window allowed um, a very homogeneous and very fast and slightly early bud break. Then we saw the rain come back at the beginning of April. We saw an extremely rapid growth. Those conditions of, of warm and humid environments um, remained until June. Um, the month of June was fairly warm um, and we were lucky to, to have a beautiful flower. In Saint-Emilion, uh, the big difference from Pomerol, it's the water reserve. Uh, the vineyard of Bellarmonange is entirely on that beautiful block of limestone, uh, which retains the water and sort of gives it back uh, uh, by retrocapillarity uh, uh, during the, the, the summer. So when we started harvesting in, in Saint-Emilion, we harvested actually in three periods. We started by the, the young vine. Those young vines, which usually bring the creaminess in, in the wine, are usually quite sensitive to over maturity, so we didn't want to pick them too late. Then we had a second part of the, of the harvest um, where we harvested the slopes, those south-facing slopes, uh, um, which had been in the sun, bathing in the sun for, for so many weeks. And then we finished by the older parcels, uh, um, which are on, on the plateau, on the, on the cooler part of the vineyard. Um, and that rhythm um, was to allow us to have that, that ripeness in the fruit, yet maintain the, 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 the freshness of the wine and the minerality, which is the, the, the signature of, of, of Belair Monange. But it's a fact, you see. And that 20, it has a unique character because it can be fresh and perfectly ripe, which usually is a difficult combination. So that wine, uh, I drink it, you see, uh, just now it's so good. The aromatic palette goes from sherry, red sherry, to cassis. But it does not go back uh, to the, down to black fruit. But it, it's... Uh, it's, it's like a crystal, you see, so it has a purity which I think we cannot find um, in many other places. So in Pomerol, we are very lucky to, to, uh, um, to have, the, the, in general, the blend of two great soils, clay and gravel. The clay is crucial and especially in a vintage like 2020 because it retains the, the humidity, it retains the water and allows the, the vines during the summer to find uh, enough resources underground. The gravel uh, brings the, the, the heat to the cluster and, and, and therefore will have a, an effect on the, on the um, the suavity of the wine. Since the maturity during the summer was quite slow and, uh, and, and the, the, the clusters were, were full, we have a good level of acidity. The wines of La Flore Petrus this year um, have an unbelievable complexity. And that is really the signature of, 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 of this wine this year. You will find in La Flore Petrus uh, both notes of licorice, of violet, those sort of warm notes, uh, um, quite a lot of blue fruit. Um, uh, there's blackberries as well. Uh, it's, the, it's the sensuality that defines uh, uh, the wines of La Flore Petrus this year. Chateau Trotanois this year is a typical Trotanois in, in a sense where it's quite compact. Um, the, the, the structure is present, there's a lot of fruit. Um, at this stage, usually for Chateau Trotanois, uh, um, it's, it's almost like a rock, it's an impenetrable uh, 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 bowl of, of ink. 
almost like a block. It's a very armed wine. It's so intense that uh, early on, uh, it's like a blow, you know, but it's so impressive. First, Osana is very small. It's 4.5 hectares, very consistent. Uh, two thirds of the vines have been planted in 56 and 57. That makes it probably, in terms of average age, one of the very oldest uh, uh, vineyards uh, in, in Pomol. People love it. It's a well kept secret because it's so small, it, gi it gives a physical pleasure. I have been lucky enough to know trios of quality. Tell you that 18, 19, 20 is the best trio ever.